What if there were a few easy ways to improve your mental focus? Well, there are. And today on our Spartan Up podcast, we're going to talk about them. I'm Dr. Nada. I'm a double board certified physician and the founder of Sage Tonic. Today, we're talking about mental focus in five easy steps. We all experience it now and then. You want to focus, get in the zone, but you're having a tough time. Here's five easy steps that will help you get centered fast. Each of them is a different tool or technique, and each activates a different sensory pathway. What do I mean by that? Let's say you want your brain to focus or concentrate. A great way to do that is to send a signal on every one of your sensory pathways. That means your sense of sight, touch, sound, taste, and smell. Your sensory system is your only connection to the outside world, and it's pretty powerful. It works 24-7, and it sends signals to your brain, and you're deciding often subconsciously if it's a positive or negative stimulus, and your body and mind respond accordingly. So being in tune and mindful of your sensory system can carry you a long way to better focus and getting your game face on. So what do you do? We're going to start with sight. Now this first one is both sight but it's also something physical. It's a yoga pose called tree pose. The challenge of tree pose is maintaining your balance on one leg. Unlike most poses, this one requires your eyes to be open and it helps cultivate focus. Select a point for your gaze and hold it and that'll help alignment of your posture. When you practice it, it helps to imagine your body as a tree and the foot that you're balanced on are the roots and your leg is the trunk. Regular practice of this pose improves concentration, balance, and coordination. The next sense, touch. Your sense of touch can be engaged with acupressure. Acupressure, not like acupuncture, doesn't need needles, but instead it stimulates, according to TCM, that's traditional Chinese medicine, certain active point locations on the body that can elicit a response, such as improve focus. There's a number of points you can use, but here's an easy one. It's called governing vessel or GV20. It's on the crown of your head between the cranial bones. Find the point or line between your two ears and go right up to the top of your head. And where you meet, there's a slight hollow and that's GV20. Gently rub or stimulate the point for a minute or two and that can be repeated as needed. Your next sense is sound. Sound and music can be powerful. The types of music to listen to to aid concentration are usually songs with smooth melodies and peaceful harmony with minimal lyrics and are the types of sounds that will help calm the mind and allow the brain to focus. Your next sense, taste. This is going to be a tea blend, both green tea and ginseng, and they help with focus. You can use one or the other or combine the two for an extra punch. Green tea has a relatively low amount of caffeine, but enough that's coupled with another compound called L-theanine. These two together help calm but focus your brain. Another option or a great addition is ginseng. This herb has several different types and it's the Panax ginseng that can help improve working memory and focus. Last up, your sense of smell. Your sense of smell, also known as olfaction, offers one of the most direct sensory connections to the brain. So for this sense, when I talk about aromatherapy for your sense of smell, I'm talking about the actual herbs in the form of essential oil, not synthetic mimics. Two to try, rosemary and basil. Inhaling the scent of these herbs have a stimulatory effect on the brain and can be uplifting. You only need to inhale for one to two minutes. You can repeat several times throughout the day for a quick boost. Okay, lots of stuff covered here. So let me give you a quick review of key points for each sense that can be treated. First, your sense of sight, tree pose. Two, your sense of touch, acupressure point, GV20. Three, sound, minimal lyrics, peaceful harmony. Pick something you enjoy. Four, taste, green tea and or ginseng. Five, your sense of smell, rosemary, and basil. Now, get in touch with your sensory system and you'll be amazed at how you get in tune and in sync with your body and mind. Hey Spartans, it's Mary, and thanks for listening to our new show, Spartan Health with Dr. Nada. I hope you like it. She's here every Sunday with holistic health tips. She joins our Spartan Up podcast family now several days a week. On Tuesdays, we have our original show, Spartan Up. That's the show where Joe DeSena, Spartan Race founder and CEO, interviews exceptional people in all walks of life, and he's joined by the co-hosts, Sefer the Seed Huntress, Colonel Nye, and Johnny Waite. 
Wednesdays, Dr. L joins us with Spartan Mind. And every Thursday, Zach Evanish is here with Spartan Way.